luxury of freedom. It is getting bad by was was betting. It is good times. Let's see. Dot Z A. Stellenbosch wins. It was one one uh, during the game against TS Galaxy in the final of the Telcom Knockout Tournament. Stellenbosch won on penalties, even though they missed the first penalty. Um, they recovered from that situation. Um, yeah. So sometimes you can uh, the penalties can create heroes uh, from the, they can takes heroes into zeros because uh, Lendwana Leo Mujela was a very good player yeah. in the field, taking shots, even in the semi-final, but he missed the most important penalty. Uh, Mervyn Poji, if I'm not mistaken, scored the winning penalty, so he becomes a hero uh, of these penalties, of course. Uh, a lot of conjecture, a lot of things from this match. Um, not a lot, actually, but just one moment. That was a penalty moment. Nurkovic given a yellow card. I think that's like the, one, the most controversial moment uh, because if they gave them that penalty, they were going to score it if they scored, and then they were going to go to... Uh, it wouldn't have gone to extra time, basically. So yeah, Mr. So-and-so, uh, uh, analyst, what did you make of the game, sir? It's a game of Yes, sir. I'm going to say, 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 I think um, I, I saw a game, second round, I mean, second half, uh, uh, after the, four, five, the first 45 minutes. The second 45 minutes, I think I started to see a game where a uh, 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 student boy has to uh, answer back in terms of the questions yeah, that the team, yeah, 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 you know, and uh, you know, that that makes that game to be more interesting. Man, you good team, you want to see you go to Steve Parker who's a pen Latin because now he is on to that. It has scored a goal and a good goal from uh, this boy who man, Mojel, yeah, in the one also who missed the penalty, a good goal from him, and I think. Him, to be really honest, Mr. K, with the chances that were there, I think T.S. Kalax is supposed to win the game. Mm -hmm. You know, Umatlangu, I think he, 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 he created half chances, uh, two half chances, I thought it was supposed to be done, uh, and then and, and, and it was all over, but, you know, it didn't happen. That's why sometimes when you get to that box, you know, don't be in the hurry, because everyone, when we are reacting uh, fast, don't come on to fast in terms of reaction in the, inside the box so yeah man but uh, what a game you know one thing about uh starting Porsche is that listen you, 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 you you'll sit down and think uh, about starting Porsche and then you're going to come up with an answer why because of how steve parker has structured that team you know when you've gone you're going to have young boys from Go TTC and then come in in the senior team, play, get to the final. Uh, Mena, I don't even care a good team. How do they get to the final? The main fact that these boys, as young as they are, they've played against the other teams of PSL and get to the final and win it. Well done to Steve Park. Yeah, that's a, that's a very good point because if you think about it, uh, players like Mervyn Porgy, yeah. uh, they were playing uh, Good Tisky Challenge yes. maybe 12 months ago. Um, players like um, okay. Devin Tyser, Titus um, were playing recently. Um, Ufan Veik, yes. uh, he was playing Antonio Ufan Veik, although he's yeah. been playing for two years with PSL, yeah. with top level, but he's been playing recently. Um, and you you look at all of them, about uh, Jaden Adams, yes. um, you know, and you think half of the team is trusting players that come from your own development, which is similar to what your Orlando Pirates used to do yeah. with Abole Bukhang Mokoyana Chisboy, yourselves, Dugu Dugu Makanya, Remy and that. And for the most part, what's currently happening with PSL, they are killing that because most of the time, um, they will say, a foreign coach will come in and they will, and they will say, yeah. Let me get experienced players and then let's see what happens with them. They will never gamble on young players. And Stellenbosch is doing that and they are reaping the rewards of doing that. Mr. Keo, uh, Mamela, Steve Parker, it's one coach that I thought he came here, uh, based on how he was coaching Guma Tax. Uh, 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 I think in Aguma Zul, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Uh, but now when I look at him, and I said it two seasons back, I said, there's something that Coach Steve Parker is yes. doing. Yes. And uh, I doubt to the people by by Bonal and Toleo, uh, Bang Mamela, Steve Parker is doing something. Because because if, you, if you remember, so at the time, he would give Sundowns a tough time. Yeah. 
uh, sometimes draw, sometimes lose, sometimes win against them. He would win against Pirates and sometimes lose against them. He would win against Chiefs for the most part, sometimes draw against them. This is when two years, three years back, we started to see it with, when we were doing this work. We noticed that this is the next team. This is the next best team. The sad part about the very same team that you're talking about is that they and don't that keep they don't keep those players in the team. That's the problem. Nah, you know, so, look, Mr. Girl, you know if 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 yes, I I do understand it. I understand the plan of Steve Parker. I understand the plan of because you could see what is the plan from up there. Yeah. But when you look at this team, Stellan Boys, the past two seasons. Uh, if they keep their players, I think they will be challenging for the league. Mm. No doubt about that. But yeah, because if you think about it, they will still have Alan Robertson at the yeah. back. Although Abiso be cool in Emara, still he would still it's still invaluable experience. Yeah. They would still have uh, Robin Johannes. Um, but although he would have been maybe 36 or 37 yeah. at this point, yeah. they would still have Stanley Dingba. Yeah. They would still have um, Lendwana Liyegu a left-footed midfielder. Um, Uzungu, yes. they would still have him. Um, they would still have Dino, um, not Dino Van Roy, and Cousin Yakele, yeah, yeah. uh, Ashley Dupria. Uh, that's a nuclear weapon. <laughs> that, yeah. that guy creates chances out of nothing. They would still have him. Junior Mandieta was best at Stellenbosch. Yeah. He, he showed his best at Stellenbosch yes. than now because he's in a different framework at Sundowns. They, they're asking him to play slightly different. In here, he was creative, he was instinctive. Yeah. He could do anything he wants, you know. So all of these players, and I'm sure there's other players that I'm forgetting, yeah. but if those players were still there, Umtetwa, Ox Umtetwa, yeah. this yeah. season, yeah. he was so immense that that would be an assemble, assembling of a squad that could win a title if they can get consistent results. Now, currently, they are lingering top three, top four. Yeah. With those other players we've just counted, they would have been a, a contender of the title. Definitely, Mr. Kew. And uh, look, I love what Steve Parker is doing. And I think if, if, if there's nothing wrong to learn from other coaches, Mr. Kew. Uh, take the good things and put them together. Uh, you know, that's the end of my year, Mr. I'm not going to be a great So, those combinations, they build the house. So, you don't think you're a good team. Uh, these other teams, let them learn from Steve Park. Steve Park is doing very well. Uh, you know, he's promoting the young ones. Look at ETTC team, are doing very well, those boys. That's why when they come in to the senior team, you don't even see Mr. Hey, this boy, we have figured PSL or what? Because of, uh, it means the high a, a preparation from the TTC in measure the PSL standard. That's why when these boys they come in, you can't even see because look at them. And I'm, you know, I'm proud of a, a coach that believes in the youth and make sure that it gives the youth a, an opportunity right. and the one that to step back. All right, there you go. Thank you very much, Mr. So for that nice, nice message. Um, yeah, we sometimes dream about futures that we will not see uh, because everyone has a price, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, I was saying to the guys now that Uchanuare is in a couple of weeks. Uh, so you might see one or two players there. Yeah. Uh, because Stellenbosch is being run with a policy of everyone has a price tag. And um, if you're being practical, uh, you know that if one, the sale of one player can pay the salaries of all the players for 10 months, then that's a deal to make because you don't have to dip into your own pocket. If a player costs 10 million for someone stupid enough to pay that amount of money, then you take that money. You know, if a fool is giving you your money, then you take it. You're like, okay. At least I can run my house for the next 10 months, you know. And then that means you win this trophy, 6.6 .6 million. Uh, you do other things with that money. Or you, it means you are secured for the next 12 or 14 months plus the, trans, the player sales, you see. So um, it's an interesting model that they, um, they're putting together. Uh, it's frustrating too because we don't really get to see them. Uh, it's like a team with potential. There will always be a team with potential, but we will never see it coming to fruition because Jalen Adams is going to leave. Um, I don't know why they're closing their eyes on Dino Van Royen. He's supposed to have left a long time ago. Um, Devin Titus will gain enough experience to make the right decisions, but he's a good player. He's already performing better than experienced uh, PSL players. So in two years, maybe he might leave too. Um, Reynas had left before. Uh, but Yamshai, 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 Gauteng province struggled a little bit, but maybe he might be ready next year. So there's always going to be uh, movers and shakers. Like There's always going to be movement happening 
uh, at that club. But anyways, well done to Stellenbosch. Uh, that they will look back in this moment and know that this was a crucial moment in their history to win their first trophy. It is Kitivitiski Times, Wolf Sports Betting. Thank you very much for watching us.